there was this day I was very only. So I was very, very only because for three years now I've not I've no I've no knack. I've not met any man. I've no knack. I'm very only. I just want somebody to knock me. Let me feel like a woman again. For three years now, I never knock. It's not easy. Okay, we just started knocking. Immediately. Ah, he, the guy gave me what I wanted, exactly what I needed. He gave it to me. I really enjoyed myself. Like, he knocked me well. He knocked me small. He knocked me big. It, all style, he gave it to me. Like, I felt it. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Nene Baby. So, guys, today... I have this lady here with me. Guys, she said there is something she wants to share with my audience. Oh, um, this one, they're very urgent. So, guys, please, after watching this video, drop your advice for her. She really needs it. Okay, please, don't mention your name. Just go straight and narrate my audience the reason why you contacted me. Okay, so I used to, uh, like, still presently, I work at a... Um, a royal family, I work with a royal family, like an house assistant. I wouldn't say house assistant, let me say like personal assistant to the queen. I used to help her to do some house chores and also keep her company, keep her busy and everything. And she, we are just like friends, I won't say best friends, we are just like friends, we are really close and she likes me a lot. In fact, she usually talk about me to everybody, both her children, but because some are in the UK and some are also with her. And she's, we stay at Ogun State, so she, uh, our house is at Ogun State as well. So I used to work for her there. So anybody that come like this, she usually sing praises of me. She loves my services. She said she has never seen someone as loyal and hardworking as me because she knows girls of this of nowadays are somehow that I, I take my job seriously and everything, that she sees me as a daughter. So like, I used to call her Big Mommy. So there was, as at um, last year, January, she was she she had an event so she invited all her children even the ones in the uk and the ones staying here with her some other family friends she invited them for the event so at the event um i I'll, there was a guy looking at me at the event i didn't even i don't know the guy i didn't even know is their um is is a is a son is the queen's son yes the queen's son i don't know the guy I just saw him looking at me and all of that so uh, he walked up to me and he started talking to me and everything. We were flowing. So, but he was doing it coded, like he doesn't want people around to know what is happening and all of that. It was when he started talking and I realized that he's the queen's son. You know, I, I don't know all of them because I've not met them. I always speak to them on phone when they call Big Mommy. If they call Big Mommy on the phone, Big Mommy will give me the phone. I'll greet them. They'll say, oh, take care of my mother for me very well. Or be a good guy. You know, they, sometimes they usually send me gifts safe. They'll send me gifts. If they send big mommy gifts, they'll send my own and all of that. So, I, of course, I don't know the guy. I've not seen him before. So, he was just talking to me and then decided to take my number that, that he really likes me, that he has been eyeing me and been looking at me since that. I didn't sign out. I said, I noticed, but he should have collected my number there. So, after like a week, he just contacted me and started chatting with me and said, you would like us to be in a relationship, that you would like to be my boyfriend. And me, I'm not ready for a relationship presently. I just want to focus on my on my work, you know, and make something for myself and well, and you know, the level I am is not the level I want to I, I want to be presently. So I'm focusing on my life. Right? So I told him that I'm not interested in any relationship for now. So he said, he insisted, but he saw that I was serious about it. So he left me, he didn't chat me again. There is one of the sisters that I used to talk to a lot. That one, I'm very, I, I'm very close to her. We used to talk anything. The woman's daughter. The daughter, yeah, it's one of the daughters. We are very, very close. She said, no, me, but ah, we used to talk anything, anything, any talk at all. We always talk, um, relationship, or knock, or, um, boyfriend, or money, or anything. I'm very free with her. So there was this day I was very only. So I was very, very only because for three years now I've no I've no I've no knack. I've not met any man, I've no knack, I'm very only. So I now meet the the lady. So I wanted to tell her she should look for somebody for me. I'm not shy to talk to her. So really she, I just I just told her that does she have any guy that she can give me that that can just knock me for just one time that is not relationship i don't want any relationship i don't want it long term i just want somebody to knock me let me feel like a woman again for three years now i never knock it's not easy so she just laughed you told the woman this yeah no yes the the queen's daughter 
that I'm close with. Okay. I told her that. I told her that she should find. She was even joking them that will I pay. I say pay waiting for this country. <laughs> I thought I was not going to pay for anything, but she just sent me a look for fine guy that can knock very well. That I just want to have fun and enjoy myself. She said, okay, no problem. That she will get one. So when she now went home, maybe she got home. She now called me. She now said, this is that I'm even going outside to look for man. That the that last one is available now. That uh, that why can't I just go for last? That is the only one that is not married yet. That why can't I go for him and date him and everything? I say ah, that me I don't want relationship. That I already told that. That I just want someone that will knock me once safe, no, not even every day something. That is someone that will knock me. That it has been long and I'm on him. She now said ah, okay, but I should still consider the relationship side. So I was not there that even the the last one she's talking about that he has already asked me out the day we did the event in January. That was last agenda. He has already asked me out. She said, really? I said, yeah. She said, okay, that she will still talk to him. That that one is good. At least he has even liked me. That one is even easy for her to even um, talk to the guy on my behalf. So that's why she not talked to her last born. No. She's the one that I've spoke with you before. Yeah, the one that I spoke with you And before. you said you don't want a relationship. Yeah, yes, I told her I don't want a relationship. So she not talked to the guy who was that... But she did not tell the guy that it's one night stand. Though. She just then it's one night something. You know. She just talked to the guy about me. That one said it was for me. That one said did not tell her that he has come to me before. So she just told him. The guy now chatted me again. And I said, it's, well, we don't start talking about chatting and everything. I just said, she should not talk too much. That she just give me his address to his house. That I'm not interested in any talking stage. So you know, he sent me the address. I went there. Immediately we got there. We just started knocking. Immediately. Ah, he, the guy gave me what I wanted, exactly what I needed. He gave it to me. I really enjoyed myself. Like, it was so fun. He knocked me well. He knocked me small. He knocked me big. It, all style, he gave it to me. Like, I felt it. I know, say yes. I felt relieved. Like, I, he knocked me. I enjoyed myself. I felt relieved. So, after the knocking, I actually left there. I left there. I went I went back to the to the palace. So, as, on, as I was in the palace, so since that day, the memory is always in my head. Like, I, I wish it was around so that I would just be knocking. Like, I, I was always on this exact time. The only is my increase. I say, hey. So now... After I, after you don't knock yes, the guy. Yes, after I knock the guy. If the guy was not in my head. I was just thinking about him and all of that. So I would be masturbating. If I see the image, I would just think about the image of the guy. Think about him. I would touch myself and everything. And I don't want to chat this guy. Because I would already form, say, not even form. I've already told him that. I don't want to be in a relationship. If I don't call, call him again now, it's a long talk and all of that. But I chat all of my pride because I was only again. And I called him that. Is he around? Should I come? <laughs> Luckily for me, he's also around. So that's why I went there again. No, I call it another knocking. This thing now become a constant something. That even if big mommy send me to to market, I will branch there. Sometimes I will lie that I'm going to my mother's place. I'm going to go and collect knocking. <laughs> so this thing now become constant. Anytime we go there, it's not straight. There's no time to talk or anything. Like after that day, you kept on going to yes, that place. Yes, I kept on going to, to go place knock. just to go and knock. I kept on going to it. Now it becomes an everyday, almost every day something. If I have chance at least, I don't go there. Don't go knock. Because the guy, he can knock. He's a be a be and do woman, whatever. So, and before that, I, I've told my mother, as I was getting involved with this guy, I told my mother that I want to date this boy. And my mother warned me against it. She said, number one, they are from they are royal family, that she does not want royal family drama, that they usually have a lot of that, that she does not want it. And then two, they are rich. Because now, when Mata, when Mata go rich, Grana, they go begin to say, now they train you, they brought you from the gutter, all of that, all those kind of talk. And she, she does not like all those stuff and all those type of things. That she does not want it for me. That if I know what is good for me, I should not even involve myself and face the work I went there to do. Do my job, leave the place. That I should not involve myself. In Your mom is against it. Yes, she's against it right from the beginning. She told me not to get involved. That they have a lot of drama and all of that. I just me, I didn't tell her to hear any advice. I just told her so that she would be aware that I'm dating this person. So she just told me the thing passed my right ear, come aside from my left ear. So I left I left my mother's place that day. So the knocking continues, so it now becomes very something I look forward to. I look forward to it. 
So this this month, I started realizing that I, I missed my period and all of that. But I didn't think it too much that I could be pregnant. But I was not getting worried. I was feeling weird. I said, hey, let me, fe- let me buy um, PT. That's pregnancy test. I went to the pharmacy. I got a pregnancy test to use. And it was positive. I said, if the pregnancy test is not really accurate, I should not. So I went to the hospital to do another one. I realized it was positive. I said, hey. hey. What, what, what is going on? I said, let me tell the sister first. Let me see what is that. Let me even know what I will decide first. I told the sister about the pregnancy, and she was very happy for me. If you see the way she was jumping, I say finally that they have seen wife for their last son. So uh, she was happy for me. I said, ah, this one that this sister is happy for me. <laughs> My third one, case don't end with everything is is right on track. So I said, let me tell the guy since the sister is happy the guy obviously will be happy as well so i told the guy about it the guy was like ah he was shocked then he told me not to tell anybody he said i should not tell the mother i should not tell the sister that i should not even make sure you word to anybody i said ah, that's weird like I was, I was not getting scared this is at this point now i was getting scared i should not tell what's going on what do you mean i should not tell anybody he said you understand he said, i should just not tell anybody i should just keep it a secret first the guy is telling you. Yes, he's telling me not to tell. I should not tell the sister. You know, I already told the sister, but I didn't tell him that. He said I should not tell anybody. I should just keep it hidden and secret that he does not want anybody to know. <laughs> and you know, cases like this, when guy don't say make a this thing, it, it doesn't. That means something is wrong. It won't end well. Hmm. That's when my mother's talk started ringing in my head, and I start understandable. I see same my whole body since. And when I got to Omsha, the guy was not calling me. He's not more closer to me. He's not calling me, talking to me, sending me money himself. I didn't even ask him. I said, this one, that the guy is even cool. Said, let me just tell the, let me tell Big Mommy. I mean, so that everything will just finalize. Now you know what's in the talk with the same man, not the Big Mommy. So I now went to Big Mommy. I just told Big Mommy that me and his son is in a relationship. I didn't tell her that we are, that I'm pregnant for his son directly. I just like in a relationship. She said, hmm, that's nice. That's cool. I'm sure she's thinking that the guy is just using me, knocking me. So she was cool with that. Until I told her that I was pregnant. Maybe I told her I was pregnant. Big Mommy face changed. Like, totally. Her face just changed. And if she has changed, because I'm, I'm like a person, so I know her attitude very. If her face don't change like that, is that she's really angry with the person and very, very pissed. And, and when her face changed like that, she can't do anything. I was scared for my life. Why did mommy change face like this? Like, I was first of all surprised and shocked. Like, she just told me that that she's more in support of that. She'll go and remove this. The pregnancy. She told you that. Yes, she told me to go and remove the pregnancy. That she's not in support of this. Um, I just remove. She didn't explain anything, and she told me she's she was she was dead serious about it. Like she was not smiling. She was not, she she didn't even stutter. She just said I should go and remove the pregnancy immediately. That she's not in support of it. That's just saying she just she just told me to she just told me to leave her presence that period. So I left. I was like, ah, what is going on? That I did not expect this reaction from Big Mommy. But meanwhile, the guy is even more caring than before. The guy is more caring. The sisters, this the sister I'm close to has approved it. The guy is more caring. He's even sending me money, he's happy. But the only thing he just told me not to tell anybody. Even the knock himself did not stop. That if I go to the guy's place, he didn't even mind I'm pregnant, he'll still knock me. Even the day I told him I was pregnant, we still knock before I even shared the news. That the guy is we see the knack the go. He told me he loved me, he said I'm sweet, all of those with the knack steady as if I'm not pregnant. But now that big mommy is now acting different, I don't know what I'm going to do about that because I didn't expect such reaction from her. Hmm. So the guy now started coming over to the palace. So he's, he's not coming over to the palace. If you see he didn't because he has his own room in the palace there, he will just come, he will still knock me inside the room there. We knock me, use you go, I go use that style go room so that people will not notice. We knock me there. So, but when we are outside, we talk to me, touch so that people will know that something is going on between us. But so that when the news of the pregnancy will come, I don't know if what is thinking, but that's what me I thought. And so the guy was just very nice, and it was not more nicer to me. And the knock steady, they go forgetting about the pregnancy issue. I was even getting more calm until last week, big mommy told me that if I know what is good for me, if I love my life, I should better go and remove the pregnancy. Like she threatened me. The NT will take my eyes, see. 
Now me go use my hair to carry and make her not even complain. But that big mom is telling you this one. Yes. The guy's mother. Yes. And if, if she has been acting, she does not want me around her again. Like if I even go and meet her, like I want to offer her because sometimes if she's if she's busy like that, or maybe she's on her phone, I'll just go and give her juice, you know, to come and but this time if I go there, she'll just send me away. So she told me last week that if I love my life and I love myself, I should go and remove the pregnancy. That anything that I use my eyes see, my, 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 my luck shine be that too. I should just... <laughs> when she treated me like that, I got more scared. I cannot go, go and meet my mother because my mother is not aware I'm, I'm pregnant. I always just told her this is the guy. My mother has warned me against it. Where do I where do I go to? Where do I start? And the guy is even hiding the pregnancy. Where do I start from? I don't know what I'm going to do because the only approval I needed is Big Mommy's own. And Big Mommy is not is not approving of this. What do I what what, what am I going to do? That one do not mean the guy the guy will still come and still knock me. We we'll, we'll still the knock for inside this matter. We we'll still the knock, but I don't I don't know what I'm going to do about this issue. Because hey, People should, I don't know. I, what would I do? Because I'm not even, I didn't tell the the sister about what Big Mommy said. No, me, I'm still thinking about it. I'm wondering what I'm going to do because I don't know. Big Mommy. Guys, this one get as a bill. Hmm. Now, wow. This your Big Mommy suddenly changed. Now, that one, the, I, I was like, the woman love you, like you said. And she always wanted to be... Her daughter-in-law. Yes, she has always wanted. She always said that ah, I'm a good wife material. That she even want me to marry um, a last born because it's the only one that is not married yet. Like she always said to me, I don't know if it's joking. So why would she not change face when I tell her when I told her I was pregnant? Like the I don't want that. Me, I'm confused. I don't know what to do right now. Oh wow, this one eh, get as bio. There was one time the guy even came to the palace one time that I went there. I spent like two hours knock steady. I, I was not, I, I didn't even care that I was moaning loudly. Like, I was knocking serious. The guy, and the guy knocking, like, if I, they always forget what they have. My brain was all off. Like, the guy knocking, they always they made my head scatter. Like, I didn't even, I don't forget, say, big, I, they, I get, I, they get issue for the house already. Like, I don't, I knock, so they, for two hours straight, by the time we come outside, I went to go and serve because I'm supposed to serve. I went to go and serve Big Mommy her food. Big Mommy refused to. Big Mommy pursued me with anger. She didn't collect the food from me, which means I'm sure she heard and all she saw me when I entered into her son's room. So that she really changed it for me. She told me to get away with my smelling food. Or smelling. What did she even tell me that day? That I, I was even crying. I was crying. She sent me out of her presence that day. Huh. So I don't know what I'm going to do like this. Wow. And this woman now. Nah. If she did not approve this marriage, that's problem. Yes, big problem. I really need her approval. Number one, she's one of my favorite person. Two, she's the mother of the son. Three, she's a queen. Of course, I would need her approval. I don't know why she just changed to me. Like she, she's not treating me like an outsider now. She's treating me like an outsider. She's acting really strange. And she's not telling me why. She didn't even give me any. She just told me to go and remove it. I need to be my eyes. See. Make I take it. If you, if you keep the pregnancy, anything, anything your eyes. Anything my eyes see, make I take it. Carry if I don't come out the pregnancy. That's a big threat coming from a queen. <sighs> Guys, even myself, eh, I'm confused. Like, why would she change like this? Hmm. Oh my, don't buy Maketo. Hey. Anyway, the only thing you can do now, if you know that her daughter you are very close with, you go still go call that her daughter, talk to her. Maybe people go join her though, talk to the woman. Because now you are pregnant, you are pregnant. But still, thank God that the son accepted the pregnancy. You have seen, ah, God, you have seen the reason why your mom won. Mm -hmm. as the thing come line with what your mom told you. If I had known, I would have just listened to my mother. If I, and you know, right from me, I don't, I'm not interested in the relationship. I was just only, I just wanted one small thing, just enter my body. Man, I feel like a woman again. Me, he just knock me. But the knocking was too sweet, too steady. I didn't even, I don't know when pregnancy even entered the matter safe. Like, I, we didn't use protection. It was getting too, I don't, I don't know what I want to do. Even still, as the matter, they all, they go, I see the knock. You home. see the knock inside this inside. serious matter. You see the knock inside the serious matter. I see the knock. This not no. You never get yourself never... from the one you knock. Oh my uh, guys, please drop your opinion on the comment section. What do you think that she should do? She really needs advice. This thing, eh? I don't even know what to say. As in, eh? 
the mama is mean. The big mommy is mean. Hmm. Oh, wow. You, ha you have to talk to the daughter and hear from her. Tell the daughter every down thing the mother is telling you since you're close to her. Like you can feel free to talk to the big, uh, the auntie. You are honey, you want this, you want a guy. The same way you talk to that auntie that period. Still talk to her now that see what is happening. You know. See what the mother is telling you. And keep praying that this woman changes her mind. Because there is nothing you can do now. There is nothing you can do. Guys, please drop your opinion on the comment section. Share this video. Thanks for watching.